Good morning guys, it is 7.30. I'm on my way to Disneyland Resort. I'm going to Disneyland for the first time in over a year. I already tried to get a boarding group for Rise of the Resistance, but I failed. I'll try again at noon. We'll see how that goes. parking structure. It is 8 a.m. I'm exhausted because I was at DCA yesterday. Guess where I am! Hoping Disney California Adventure today. Disneyland tomorrow. It was a lot. I had my parking voucher up and ready. Got some pumpkin bread. I have my coffee in me. We are moving. Slowly, but moving. I really don't need to be wearing this mask right now. This is taking forever. So I realized that cars honk their horns on their way into Mickey and Friends when it opens. I was like, okay, this is cool. My first ride is gonna be Snow White. Second ride is probably gonna be Big Thunder because I've been waiting for that for a very long time. And we'll just see how the day goes. I am walking to security. Got my ears on from Grumpy Sunflower Studios. Got my shirt from 1953 Designs and got my camera. But the thing is, I basically parked in the same parking spot that I did yesterday. <sighs> All tangled up, tunzled out for Disneyland. It is 8 o'clock and I am in the parks. I am home. Finally, this is the first time I've seen the castle. There's the line for the Starbucks. I got through security pretty quickly, got into the park pretty quickly. I walked straight through because everyone was in line for California Adventure, which is understandable because Adventure's campus just opened. We got in line at 6.45, 6.45. We are in line for Adventure's campus. It's a long way down there. I'm with the wonderful world of Lexi. Hi! It's slowly moving. I hope we get in like at 9.30. The line is moving. We are kind of close to the front, which is surprising. And it's only nine o'clock, but like, look at the line now. It's like still <laughs> down there. And we made it. We're in the land. My goals are photos, princesses, hopefully Rapunzel, while well, I'm in this attire, and then rides. Because I don't know when I'll be back. Oh, my castle. I love Sleeping Beauty's castle. Oh, it's so pretty. second time. I'm eating the strawberry, no, raspberry pineapple swirl. It's so good. Just definitely check it out. It's at Tropical Hideaway in Disneyland. I have a mint jewel waiting for me, so I'm eating this quickly. I have a mint jewel for the first time. over in Frontierland, like really busy. I couldn't even find a table to sit at. I'm over by Pirates of Caribbean and I had to go through like a whole thing to find a table. Indiana Jones was way too long of a wait for me. Currently in line for Indiana Jones. I did not realize that being in a boarding group would be like such a wait time. I've already been in line for over 20 minutes. I think they broke down at one point, so I slowed down. And then I have a uh, bubble order right after this, so I get some food. Bubble order already like filled up, so I'm waiting in line. I don't know what I'm gonna order yet, but this place is cool. I'm gonna enjoy this. I'm trying it for the first time. I don't. This isn't a straw. Interesting. Okay. This is the honey buzz. It has gin. It's 9 a.m. This one's the experiment. It has tequila, apparently. Oh man, I think Lexi is gonna get drunk. It's really good though. Churro was overrated. Churro was very overrated. Would I get it again? If I was in this area and I 
was craving a churro, yes. But it wouldn't be my very first thing I would get. It really is a different taste. <laughs> you can taste that cheesecake, but it's more of like a mousse, I would say. Okay. Very good though. better at like naming these things. I don't know what it is. And apparently it's like based off of California smells and scents for Soren. This is so good. Try and drink number two. This one's a C. So let's see how it tastes. Get it. Whoa. I was not expecting that. So it has a salt rim. I'm like not a fan of salt, but sea salt. Sea salt. Makes yes. sense. It has a kick. I feel like it's more sultry. It's still pretty good. All right, let's try this last one. Cheers. It is citrusy. This one just tastes like orange juice, but like with the gin. Highly recommend this one. This one's probably my favorite. I saved it for last because I knew this was gonna be my favorite. And the Alfresco Tasting Terrace also gave me this lovely straw. It says annual pass holder on it. And then my fourth and fifth legacy pass holder magnet. This is my hair after Grizzly River Rapids. I am soaked from River Rapids. We rode it twice. We got the geyser on the first round and then we did it again and we got even more wet. I switched into my boo tire just to dry off because my rest of my outfit is completely soaked. I just ordered, mobile ordered the macaroon and some ice cream and then I'm gonna go get a Starbucks. We're gonna try this macaroon. It was really really good. It tasted amazing especially after being outside for a few hours already and not really getting any food or drink. So yeah, highly recommend. It is the red macaroon at Jolly Holidays Cafe. Raspberry is like made it for me. Now we're gonna go try a float because ice cream. I'm so excited for my root beer float. I need something to drink and then I'm gonna run it to Starbucks because why not? I need some water. Crowds are definitely here now. But I'm glad I got here early because no crowds. It's not a flood spot Back behind and girls in the shade. I hope you guys can hear me or else this is a total bust. All right, I'm trying blue milk for the first time. It's not great. I can kind of see the height just because it's blue, but I probably wouldn't get it again. <laughs> I don't know if green's better, but it's not. So I just kind of wanted to try it. I just saw the cutest kid. She was singing It's a Small World over and over and the mom was clearly not having it. I'm hoping Rapunzel's out. I just changed back into this. I'm pretty sure after this last little haul, I'm just gonna go on rides. So it's like 11. I have taken a bunch of photos. I haven't been on any rides. So I've had with the characters. Hello, my princess. Me? What am I talking? See, she doesn't even know Snow White. She only knows my beauty. You can get it on from behind to come back to the wall. Always. Yeah, we'll 
so I just saw Peter Pan and Captain Hook. They wanted to steal my ears. I tried to get a selfie with them, but it did not turn out. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> it's my social anxiety kicking in. I'm like, oh, oh well, I'm not gonna try go try again. Princesses are right in front of me. I'm kind of waiting for Rapunzel if she possibly comes out in the next round. Just saw Tinkerbell too. I just saw Tinkerbell and I was just in Neverland like t-shirt. Not happy. I have my Tinkerbell ears on and everything. And she's probably be gone by the time like I change if all. So that is my life. Let's go see what princesses are over there. Probably just know what to on Aurora. My luck. Oh, Ariel's out. If she's out. I don't know. It might just be mini, which is just as good. I'm running over to Fantasy Fair to see if Rapunzel's out. I don't think she probably is with my life today. I've missed all of my character needs. So, we'll see. Not my food's ready, so I'm gonna rock over there after. Okay, so Rapunzel wasn't out, but Mulan was. I don't see her often. <gasps> Eeyore! Oh, Pooh! Pooh and Eeyore. <laughs> Someone just got proposed to. That's always fun. Thank you. I just met Rapunzel. Lottie was brought to that tower because she wanted to go see some floating lanterns, and I uh, think she had a pretty good tour guide. Yeah. Which one of you is the, uh, the adventuring expert? Ah, uh, you. All right. Yeah, leading the expedition. Where have you taken them so far today? Everywhere. Wow. Look at that. Everywhere and twice. Everywhere and twice? Wow. She took a selfie with me. I was meeting the other princesses. And then I came out, and there she was. And it caught me by surprise. But I met her, and she commented on my ears. So thank you, Grumpy Sunflower. She liked them. Flynn liked them. They were together. But yeah, that caught me by surprise. I love her. She's my favorite. Well, I got to meet Ariel, Snow White, and Aurora. Haven't met Aurora in a very long time, so that was nice. Um, and saw Ariel, which was one of my favorites. Snow White was very talkative. I might do a Mark Twain riverboat right now, because why not? It's coming around. Why not? I haven't done that ever. Let's do it. So I'm just gonna go shop. Best quote of the day. I thought we were in California Adventure. I just realized it's only 72 degrees outside and I'm dying. Oh look, I'm sunburned. I put on SPF but it didn't work. Update on the sun. I think I'm sunburned underneath my eye. I'm going on small world. I need some AC. And then I'm gonna like go ride some rides. Yeah. 
I'm on the red. Princess and the Frog. I'm on Pirates next. Pirates says 40 minutes. I think it's gonna take 25. Maybe 25. Pirates is finally at a good level of weight. It's no longer 40 minutes. It was like down and around all day today. Haunted Mansion I think still is, but it's not as bad, but that ride is like a hit or miss for me to be honest. Now I'm just physically distancing in my line. Pirates was 10 minutes. What time? Posted was 40. Riding Big Thunder for the second time today. Posted time is only 30 minutes. I think it's only gonna take me about 10 minutes to get through. I got row one on Big Thunder for the second time. I'm on my way to Peter Pan because I didn't actually ride that last time. So I'm gonna try to ride it this time. The line's too long. It's way too long. Yeah, it goes out into it. Not there. So, no. Oh, castle. I am rushing to Space Mountain now. It's only a 35 minute wait, so we'll see if I get on it twice. It is 7.50. This is the one I got emotional on. I did not get emotional on any other parts of the day other than just seeing the castle. Hopefully I can ride it two more times, for sure once more, before heading out for the day. I got here at nine, I'm ending my day at nine. Let's do it. And I'm gonna get a Starbucks on my way out. I don't know if this is the faster way or not, but it's definitely the quieter way. So I think I made it in less than five minutes from all the way across the other side of the park. 35 minute wait. I'm hoping I get on this twice. 
since the line wraps around and I wasn't prepared for that. I think I'm only gonna do this one. So I just got off Space Mountain. It's like 8.45. I could have gotten in line again, but honestly the line was like 40 minutes. I'm just gonna say goodbye to the castle for now. I think I might head. Sad. I'm not gonna think about it. Because I don't just wanna stay. So I don't know when I'm coming back. It's been a very good day. My photos didn't turn out as good as I planned. My photo pack people weren't that good. It's so pretty at night. Oh. Okay, I might cry leaving. Look at this. Goodbye, Disneyland. I had fun. Key takeaways. There were lines at 35% capacity. I wasn't upset by them. I knew they were gonna happen. I do miss fast passes. I do miss single riders. The pros, being the only person in car, in like the cars. I got my own little like cart in Space Mountain. Like no one was behind me. If I was in a boat or something with other people, they were two rows behind me. The people, half of them were masked. Half of them did not. Yesterday and today. Today was worse. His name was way worse. Just because it's more congested due to the park itself. I don't remember where I parked. I don't remember. I think it's Mickey. I'm on an aisle four. I don't know where my car is. I really hope my car's on this floor. I really don't know. I think I was on Mickey. I found it. There it is. Hey, car. I found you. You're dirty. I can finally take this thing off. <sighs> Sanitize. This is the rat's nest. My after tradition, my before and after tradition, I really shouldn't be doing this, my Invisalign is in. I won't drink out of it. Coffee. I'm sitting in my car for a hot sec. I should have gotten a Starbucks. Why did I not get a Starbucks? I was like, my feet hurt. Yeah, no shit. We're supposed to get a Starbucks. Who could have freaking Starbucks? I used to have to drive two hours every single time I visit a Disneyland. This is my try on my way home. I get coffee on the way in. And, and, because you're always sunburned when you come back, hence my forehead. My forehead is really bad. I always have water. Water is always good to have on hand. I go to the downtown Disney Starbucks because the one inside Disneyland it gets packed. That is my little tradition. It always helps me like just calm down after the night, especially with the long drives because I do live down here. So I'm not going to a hotel. I wish I was going to a hotel. That'd be fun. So that was a very busy day. I left a little early just because I got everything done I wanted to do. All the wait times were like, half the time as posted. Like if it was a 60 minute wait, it was actually only 30 minutes. And then mobile orders were easy. Crowds were a little hectic. I did have to tell someone to back up a few times. The capacity was like, eh, there's people. But I felt fine. And that, my friends, is a wrap on my four day trip to Disney. I am emotional because I don't know when I'm gonna be back. I have to be back twice before the end of the year, but I don't know about other dates. I don't know about the passes. But yeah, it was a lot of fun. If you liked this vlog, I don't know if you did. Like, subscribe, my face is all sweaty, I'm sorry. Like, subscribe, comment, follow me on Tangled in Teacups. That's where you're gonna get most of my content. I'm hoping to keep it, my YouTube up to date, but life. I had a good time and I hope to see Mickey real soon.